Hi and welcome to the second Hi and welcome to the second video on experimental on completely randomized design. Okay, so here I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and add some more factors and um put some levels into it to show you how this works. So so what we're interested in is uh tomatoes tomatoes uh, growing. Okay. So what are some factors that could influence the growth of tomatoes, say, in a pot? Okay. Okay, so one would be, one factor that we'll use will be um, how much water. That probably is a big um, factor of whether a tomato will grow. And I'm going to add a factor, which will be fertilizer. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to add some, uh, some levels. So these are my two factors, and these will be my levels. So we'll say no water daily. And then, and then we'll say water daily. Okay, and fertilizer will be no fertilizer, medium fertilizer, and lots of fertilizer. Okay, okay, so, so now that we have our fact, two factors and our levels, we could construct, we can construct our treatment groups. Okay, so so let's just say we have 50 plants. Okay, these 50 plants need to be randomized into all treatment groups. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Uh, figure out all of our um, treatment groups and I believe we will have six treatment groups okay you just restrict one and do it with all three and then do the other one with all three so I'll say no water slash no fert we will say no water slash medium fertilizer and we will say no water slash lots of fertilizer okay so I restricted one with all three of the other uh, levels so now I need to do the other one so H2O, H2O slash no fert H2O medium fertilizer and H2O lots of fertilizer okay so now what we, what we would do is we have six treatment groups and we have 50 plants okay so these 50 plants need to be randomized into each treatment group Okay, and the way we figure that out is we just need to split 50 into 6. Split 50 into 6. So we could just do the division. You guys should probably know this one already since it's just not, not 8 but 6. 50 divided by 6, which will be uh, 8. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put... Uh, spread these kind of out evenly. So I'll change the color here. And I'll throw... Okay, so eight plants will go here. Eight plants will go here. 24, 32, 40. And we'll throw 10 in here. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 40. Or you could, you could make it in 1, 9, and 9 if you want. I think... 
I add one there, take one there, that'll work. Okay, and then at the end, we want to compare, we want to compare the number of tomatoes. Okay, so think about our, also think about our, um, think about our three principles too. We did our randomizing, okay, we randomized. Now eights, eights a little questionable on replicate, but we'll just go with it, okay, for now. And then we have our control. So what does control actually mean? We have two different factors, okay? We have water and we have fertilizer. Now another factor out there might be how much sun. So I have to make sure all these are getting the same amount of sun, okay? Because when we get done, we don't want we don't want this to be, we call it a confounding variable where um, you have more tomatoes and then you could turn around and say, well, that, that pot was more in the sun than the other ones, than, than, you know, some of these other treatment groups, okay? So that's how we limit that. We have to control our variables, okay? So that is our second completely randomized design. I may do one more, but maybe not. If, if not, I'll go right to the next design, um, which is a step up from this one. So thanks for watching.